Well, two people who know all about the Hacienda heydays. Joining us in the studio now, Rowetta and DJ Graham Park. Hello. Hello, lovely to have you in our LFTV studio. Are you loving the space? It's great to be here. It's gorgeous space and the sun's out. Didn't the expect that today. The sun's out in Lynham, yeah. Didn't expect that today. Now, it's, lo it's lovely up here, actually. You've got the best view of the stage as well. We have. You stick with us. You get, you get the not, best view. Be top, yeah. you I think there'll be a lot of people... Do you want to take you up top? I'll take you up top after. Okay, all okay. right. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're not being rude, Rowetta. <laughs> What does it mean? No. Say what's up? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> um, now, if you were born in 1995, like this young lad here, and have no idea what the Hacienda is, he said before, what is the Hacienda? And I was like, what? Tell us, Graham, what it's all about. The Hacienda uh, was the best club ever. That's a fact. A fact. Don't, don't listen to That's anyone, especially people from the South. Don't listen to them. No, it was an amazing club. Uh, and tonight is um, reimagining and reworking classic classic acid house tunes that were massive at Hacienda and if you were if you're over 40 and you went to Hacienda you're just gonna love it but if you're under 40 and never went to Hacienda you're gonna love it as well especially when Rowetta gets on the stage <laughs> we have a long wait for me but it's a brilliant it's a brilliant brilliant show um, if you imagine a lot of the kids as well they recognize the tunes anyway and a lot of things have been sampled a lot of the songs we do have been sampled so you recognize the songs but it's been amazing the mix of ages has been fantastic and the way everyone just parties um, and it's real strings and real brass instead of samples, which we're so used to electronic noises. So it's just it's just like the old tunes, but better. And somehow it recreates the atmosphere that was there in the Hacienda. And these open air things, at first I didn't know if they'd work, and it works even better. But especially when you've got weather like this, it's amazing, and it's going to be a great, great night. Yeah, and for you, Greg, it must be a little bit different, really, because normally you'd be used to just yourself and your decks, but tonight you've got a 60 strong orchestra with you. Yeah, well, <laughs> as Rowetta said, it's like taking the world of like acoustic classical instruments and marrying it with electronic music. So um, we scored, well, t Tim Crooks, the conductor uh, from the Camerata Orchestra, Manchester Camerata Orchestra, who are amazing. Um, he scored all the, 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 the tracks. I, I came up with the mix. Mike Pickering and I came up with the, with the tracks, and I came up with the mix. Tim scored it for the orchestra, but the stuff that the orchestra can't do, so it's a lot of the electronic drums and some of the bass lines and synth noises. Mike and I are in charge of the electronic stuff, but down the front, the orchestra, the strings, the woodwind, the brass, the percussion, it, it's great. And it just makes you realize that these young men and women from uh, Detroit and Chicago who were making these really cheap um, house tracks, they knew what they were doing because we've taken their synthetic strings and scored them for a proper string section and they sound amazing. Yeah. And Rowetta, tell us what you're going to be performing tonight then. It's you're, a you secret. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell, tell you that. something you don't know though. Graham Park may be singing as well. No. <laughs> you know, I know this you know? because we heard him in his sound check, didn't we? Already. Sounding good, Graham. Well, yeah, um, Hooky, Peter Hook, um, performs Blue Monday and for, for reasons too complicated to go into, he can't make it tonight. <gasps> <laughs> oh, he's fine. Don't worry, he's yeah. fine. Um, and basically, last last year we did. Um, uh, I I did it as a for a laugh at the sound check because Hooky wasn't there. And then at the end of last year, he his flight got delayed, and so basically the, the choir and the conductor said, "Sorry, you're doing it." And Hooky saw it, and said, "Right, if, if I can't turn up, you're doing it." And to be honest, it's. One of the biggest buzzers of my career singing He's one of the. Brilliant. He is absolutely brilliant. And to be honest, I sing, I sing in the encore, so don't leave before the encore because some <laughs> people go, got to get me bus. Well, if you get the bus, you'll miss me. So please stay till the end, right to the end. I sing a couple at the end. Oh, and she. And I know a lot of people. You, a lot of people know it because I've done it on YouTube. It's been an Andrew Marr show and stuff. But it's with the orchestra. It's just an amazing song to sing. You've got the love and where love lives. I sing as well. So I will be dancing. Save it. Save a bit for me for the end. Save a bit of energy for the end because it's a fantastic finale. No, honestly, the the the, the encore is superb. Absolutely amazing performance from Rowetta. Well, what I was going to say is a lot of my friends are actually coming tonight, and I was know for them what are, what what are they going to expect? What's going to be the show? It's great songs. Right, and as Rowetta said earlier, uh, a, a lot of these songs have become part of kind of dance music culture. So even if you're born in 1995, you will know a lot of these songs. I mean, let's, without giving too much away, for example, Show Me Love, everyone knows oh, yeah. Show Me Love, yeah, that's yeah. in there. Uh, but the thing is, we've got a couple of kind of more obscure tunes that were only big at the Hacienda, but, but people will just go, oh my God, I recognize this. Great songs, great vocals, uh, great strings, um, it just, an all-round amazing show. Have a bit of Bez as well. I think he's on his way here. So hopefully, I'm hoping he's coming, um, which will be amazing because it's great when he comes. He gets the crowd really going. Um, so it's just going to be a great, great night. And your friends can also expect an invite back backstage of the good looking. 
Yeah, well, and just very quickly, this, this, this month is actually the anniversary of Factory Records boss Tony Wilson, a, a fellow colleague of mine. He was such a, a massive part of the Hacienda. Just, just tell us your little memories of him, just, just very briefly. I've got so, so many. I mean, I, I wouldn't go and see him right at the end because he was too ill. I couldn't look at him like that. And we did a TV show together um, at the end of filming. But I like to remember all the happy times and him interview, trying to interview. My favourite, actually, it was to, an anniversary of today and tomorrow, uh, Citizen in the park 1991 and he was trying to interview me he had this new girlfriend Yvette who's ex-miss Great Britain I think but I kept saying she's Miss X UK which is like some sex thing and then she kept saying no no Etta she yeah. wasn't a Miss X Great, Miss Great Britain <laughs> and we just had this best day and we did uh, one day where we hosted a thing with Ice Tea and I've just got so many great memories making 24 yeah. hour parts of people with him as well because he was yeah, in the film. Yeah you played yourself didn't I you? Did, yeah. yeah yeah. So just spending loads of time with him getting um, nominated for a can, the Can Big Can Award so he was alive for that I wish he was here. You know. yeah. No he was great he, he just let everyone do what they wanted to do and encouraged us all to do our thing and we just had an absolutely amazing time and Tony was there just kind of overseeing it all I was about to say what would he so think of the classical yeah he would have loved it I mean you know we sold out the Royal Albert Hall twice and played things like that you can't he would just love it you know we did Glastonbury you know and his kids were watching us open Glastonbury that's just amazing you know he would have been so proud well, well it's I'll lovely to see you isn't yeah, it yeah well I've got one more question oh, one more question I was going to say well, you performed at some fantastic places oh what? I thought it was going to be something else no 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 I was oh. going to say what, what's your ritual before you go on stage what do you get up to what, how to do you know because I'm not until the end I just sit quietly in my room really do and uh, listen to the show because quite often I can't go out because people would talk to me and get selfies and all that so I just I just sit <laughs> there di- I just know it and I get really stressed because <laughs> I want to get on the stage yeah, we'll I just end up going I want to get on I want to get on I don't get nervous I get really excited because this music gets you going and when you're sat in your own dressing room you want to dance with your mates so it's a little bit stressful but once I'm on I've got all this energy and it just goes boom oh, exactly okay. exactly when she yeah. comes on yeah. she sets the place alight yeah. and the crowd go wild well listen we can't wait to see it can we, we I want to go on now I'm you can you've got to wait till 11 o'clock <laughs> I know. Uh, good luck tonight enjoy it at Lytham Festival Thank 2017 you. thanks for having us if you want to get in touch if you were a massive fan of Hacienda get in touch with us at Twitter at Lytham Festival and enjoy Hacienda Classical tonight <laughs>